Hello and welcome to the latest update from Ochmuti High School. It's been great to get back to school and see the children after the Christmas holidays. I'm delighted to say that the vast majority of learners have re-engaged brilliantly with their learning, both in class and at home using the various packages we have on offer. In spite of some staffing difficulties, I'm delighted to say that we're offering a full timetable and I'm really grateful to staff who've covered for absent colleagues and gone the extra mile to ensure that the children can continue to learn. Our S2 Chromebook pilot is working very well. Every child in S2 has been given a Chromebook to use both at home and in school and it's really important that the children bring them to school every day, fully charged, ready for use in classrooms. I'm encouraging staff to make the best use of these resources in class so that they can be used for note taking, uh, finding out information about the topics that are being studied, used for Satchel 1 or Teams, used as a simple calculator, but used to support learning at all levels. I've been using one of the Chromebooks myself to test the connectivity of the device. So I'm cycling to school every day from Kirkcaldy with the Chromebook in my bag and I'm delighted to say it's not that heavy, it works out fine. I've been trialling it on various networks at home, out and about and in school on the academic network and I'm delighted to say the Chromebook connects instantly to all networks without any difficulty. Now this is a really important pilot which will inform the decision on whether or not to roll out digital devices to all children in schools across Fife and perhaps even across Scotland. It's therefore really important that they're brought in each day and used in classes. Now we're still getting used to that as a school, but this is a fantastic resource and it's really important that we make the most out of it. If you or your child has a view on the Chromebook Pilot that you'd like to share with me, then please contact me via GLOW. I'll be sure to read it and I'll pass it on to the organisers of the pilot too. The more information we have, the better. For other year groups, we still have a number of Chromebooks available. For any child who has only shared access at home or using a phone to access online learning, please contact your child's guidance teacher in the first instance to arrange a Chromebook for your child. Incidentally, the images you're seeing in the background were recorded using one of the S2 Chromebooks using the screen record feature. The images show logging into Glow and accessing some of the applications that are available there. All of these applications are available to all children. Around the wider school community, our on-call teams consisting of principal teachers, senior leaders and pupil support assistants are working really hard to support learning in all areas. They all report excellent engagement in classes. And one particular thing they've reported is seeing large numbers of children explaining tricky concepts to classmates working in teams. It's a well-known fact that one of the best ways to really gain a deep understanding of a difficult concept is to try and explain it to someone else. So I'm delighted to hear that. An extension of this concept might be encouraging your child to explain the concepts they've been studying in school each day uh, to someone at home when they come home in the evening. And that brings me neatly on to my next point, Satchel One. This platform is one of the main ways in which we encourage children not just to think about their learning when they're at school, but to also think about their learning when they're at home or in other places too. A number of teachers are now routinely putting lessons on Satchel One so that any child who is unable to attend a lesson on a given day for whatever reason can still catch up on the learning on a routine basis by logging into Satchel One. We also use Satchel One to support our other platforms such as Microsoft Teams. Microsoft Teams is an excellent platform to put large-scale resources on, like all the resources for a National 5 course, for example. Satchel One is an excellent way of explaining exactly where those resources are on Teams and, really importantly, of informing parents about those resources. I'd like to remind all parents and carers that you all have a login to Satchel One. 
you can see exactly what home learning tasks have been allocated to your child using your unique login details. If you don't have them, then please contact the school via the guidance teacher in the first instance or reception to find out your login details. It's also worth noting that the entire homework calendar for the school, including details of each home learning task and the resources used to support that task, are all available online. Simply visit our website to find more details of this. My final message of this update is one of general encouragement. Please encourage your child to really believe that they can achieve anything they want to if they really put their heart, soul and mind and effort into it. Make sure they've got everything they need for that day at school in their school bag. Make sure they're wearing their uniform in the morning. Make sure they're there on time. Encourage them to discuss what they've done that day in school with you in the evenings. And working together like that will achieve the best outcomes for the children. We're really encouraging the children to have a growth mindset. They might not be able to do everything yet, but with real hard work and enterprise, they will be able to do things in the future. And that triangle of support between the school, the learner and home is absolutely essential to making sure all our learners fulfil their potential. Well, thanks for listening. I hope that's been informative. See you all next time. Bye.